Welcome to Koala Nation. In this new tutorial, we are going to unleash the potential of using masks with IP adapter and anime diff. With a simple description of what we want to mask, we can use one person instead of another and apply amazing textures on objects. Create the most amazing animated visuals with Comfy UI and Anime Diff. Let's get started. We are going to need the following custom nodes. Remember that the nodes and models all can be installed with the manager. We also need these models. It is important to have the Dino and VITH models for this workflow. We are using Animate LCM, so download the Motion Model and the Motion LoRa. Install them in their corresponding folder. Juggernaut is the checkpoint. Download it from civit.ai. After installing, it is convenient to update Comfy UI and reset the program. To begin, bypass the default workflow. Add a load video upload node. We are using this stock video of a dancer. The mask is recognized by the Groding Dino SAM segment node. Before connecting the video frames, use the image resize node. Set the height to zero and activate keep proportion. This way, the frames will be 512 width but keep the right height for the resolution. Now you can connect the nodes. We are going to do two masks, so duplicate the grounding Dino node. The first mask is going to be for the body. The second, for the ground. Write them in the prompt boxes of each Dino node. The grounding Dino needs connection to a SAM model loader. Use the VITH model. Don't forget to use preferred GPU to avoid issues. Connect the loader to both grounding Dino nodes. Now connect them to a Dino model loader. You can use the Swinty model. Make sure is connected to both nodes. In the video load node, set select every second frame and limit the frame cap to 16. Use the preview animation nodes with the generated masks to test if the workflow works. Grounding Dino should create a mask of the identified object in the prompt. We will use these later to add textures with IP adapter. Decrease the threshold if the mask is not detected in some frames. Increase it if more objects than expected appear. We are going to use a third mask for the rest of the objects and the scene. To do that, add a bitwise mask plus mask node. Then, invert the mask. Working with masks is sometimes complex and confusing. You can add more and more masks if you want, but start with one or two masks, and then try to combine them. If you master the use of masks, you will be able to achieve great control in Comfy UI and Anime Diff. Start now with IP Adapter. Add an IP Adapter Advanced node. Connect the body mask to the IP Adapter node. Now, we copy and paste the IP Adapter node two times. One will be for the ground, and the other for the rest of the scene of each frame. Connect the masks to each of the adapters. Each mask will have its own reference image. Add a load image node. We choose for the person dancing this image of a lady in sport clothes. Copy the load image node. We want the woman dancing over a fantastic blue fire, so we use this image as reference for the ground mask. We do the same for the mask of the rest of the scene. For the background, we are going to use this image of a colorful nebula. The images work well sometimes when directly connected to the IP adapter. However, other times it works better if you use the prepare image for clip vision node. We are going to use them for this workflow. You just need to connect the image to the node and reconnect to the IP adapter. We use pad in the first, as we want to capture the aspect of the lady. For the textures, we can play with different positions. These provide a different image to be used in the IP adapter, yielding different final results. Experiment with different values. You can use the IP adapter tiled node, but we will not do this today. Connect now the IP adapter to the unified loader. We are going to use the plus model. Be sure the model is installed using the manager. The IP model needs to be connected to each of the IP adapters. 
simply connect the output to the corresponding inputs in the three nodes. As simple as that. The model needs to be connected in series. Connect the model loader to the first IP adapter. Then, connect the first IP adapter to the second, and the second to the third. The unified loader needs to be connected to a checkpoint. So, we now activate the checkpoint loader and connect it. We use the Juggernaut checkpoint for this example, but of course you can use any SD 1.5 model you want. We start now with Animate Diff. Add a LoRa loader and choose the Animate LCM LoRa. Connect it with the last IP adapter. Create now the standard set of nodes for Animate Diff. Add the Use Evolved Sampling node. Connect the model. Connect it to the Apply Animate Diff Model Simple node. Connect this one to the Load Animate Diff Model node and choose Animate LCM T2 V Model. Add a Multival Dynamic node and set the value to 1.2. With this we can make the textures to have some nice movement. Finally, complete the AD setup with context options. Use Loop Uniform and the default settings. The Animate Diff Evolved Sampling node is now connected to the K Sampler. These nodes can now be activated again. Like all video-to-video -video workflows, we need that the batch size is the same as the number of frames we run. Connect the frame count output from the video upload node to the empty latent image node. You will need that the batch size is set as input. Right-click over the node to do it. For this video, the latent size will be 512 by 768. Change the positive prompt. I recommend that it describes the scene you want. The IP adapter has a strong influence, but the prompt also helps on getting the results you want. Because we use the LCM model, we need LCM settings. Change the case sampler steps to 8, CFG to 1.2. The sampler is LCM and as scheduler use SGM uniform. Keep the denoise at 1. Replace the save node for a video combined node. You can also use a preview animation node if you do not want to save the video at this point. We use a frame rate of 12, the format is MP4 and deactivate save output. Remember to activate it when you want to save your animation. If you test the workflow, it should work, but still the video will not follow the movement of the person in the video. We need to add control nets. For that, in this example we are going to add two. Add a apply control net node and duplicate it. As usual connect the prompts to the conditionings, and these to the inputs in the case sampler. We are going to use DW pose and depth. In my experience, this workflow works also nicely with line art and with scribble. Of course, feel free to experiment and unleash your creativity. You can add now a DW pose estimator and connect the frames to it. Use the pre-processed images as input for the first control net apply node. And now one of the depth preprocessors. In this example we will use Zoe Depth Anything. Connect the frames, and now the pre-processed images to the second control net. We need to add the load control net models for each of the apply nodes. We use the open pose model for the first control net, and depth for the second. If you use different preprocessors, you will also need to have the corresponding models. For SD 1.5, most of them are available in the manager. If not, you will need to download and copy to the control at subfolder and models. Finally, we set the strength and n% percent of the control nets. For OpenPose, strength is 0.8 and n% percent 0.8. For depth, we will use a strength of 0.3 and an n% percent of 0.6. And now is dancing. With this small sample we can now decide what parameters we can fine tune. We change the weight type to ease in out and increase the weight of the first IP adapter to 1.2. We also change in the second and third IP adapters to get a more exciting animation. Changes in the prompt also help. In our case, we describe the color of the shirt as it was white in the trial. Some fine-tuning in the case sampler, and the control nets can help in achieving the results you want. Most probably you will want to further elaborate in the definition and upscale the video. 
for example, using a latent upscale node, to 1.5 in the example. We will not show the upscaling process further, as this has shown in other videos. Please check out some of the videos of my channel. Of course, there are several ways to do it. Feel free to use the one you like. In the case of middle shot videos, you may also want to add a face detailer node. Face ID or instant ID are also nice if you want to detail the face. The final polish can be done with frame interpolation to smoothen even further your animation. Finally, set the frame cap to zero to run all the video frames and run the workflow. This is all for you today. I hope you liked it. If so, check on the description how you can support the channel. Stay tuned.